there's three sports shops closed down. A dress shop on the corner's closed down. The co-op's closed down because of Morrison's. So it's not done us any good whatsoever. Well, what you've just heard there are some of the concerns that were expressed by local people when Tesco opened their first UK non-food outlet here at Crown Point in Denton. People were worried about the impact on other businesses. But it's worth bearing in mind that Tesco took one of the last available units here and it does beg the question, did the world end for other businesses here? Well, it doesn't look like it. One of the criticisms of shopping centres like this is that it's destroying the high street, such as that one over there. Any thoughts on that? I prefer here to over there. Do you? Yeah. What's wrong with over there? They don't have as like good shops like River Island and stuff. I won't like buy my clothes from the shops over there, but I would from over here. Or consider the experience here in West Didsbury. Just through the lights there... There's a Tesco food supermarket and admittedly several butchers that used to be on the road behind me have now disappeared. But in their place have emerged other independent traders such as the furniture store, there's a hairdresser and beauty salon and then at the end there's a clothes store where once there was a bakery. You say there can be positive influences. Um, give us an example. Prime example is the uh, the new development of the Asda store in East Manchester. Mm. A few years ago, there's nothing there. It was a real derelict site. Mm. Asda's moved in, created hundreds of new jobs. Mm. It's been a major boost and a real impetus to regeneration. The redevelopment of the area has completely transformed the character of East Manchester. So what should we conclude from all of this? Well, perhaps business is a little bit like life itself. Sometimes the big guys gobble up the little guys. It does beg the question, should we be doing anything about it? Well, perhaps the answer depends on who is doing the asking. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel N News.